Hi there, welcome to edupediaworld.com. You are watching the videos on triangles. So in this video, we'll discuss what introduction to triangles, what are triangles and how we can use two triangles to correlate them. Then we'll discuss very important concept of triangles, which is very widely used in mathematics. It's known as congruency of triangles and uh, it's very important concept if you consider for your class 9th or 10th standard examination or further mathematics so you have to watch this part of a video very carefully so let's get started with the first topic which is introduction now so introduction to triangles now as we all know triangle is a three-sided figure it's a three-sided figure which has three vertices like a b and c it has three angles like this angle this angle this angle and it has three sides one two and three what now if we have two triangles like this a this triangle is a b c and triangle p q r what now if somebody asks me can you correlate these two triangles this triangle ABC and triangle PQR so what criteria will you use to correlate the triangles what are the certain rules and regulation you, you should follow when you are trying to correlate two triangles so that is actually a part of congruency we'll discuss in this video so let's discuss congruency so what is congruency now you must have observed two copies of your photographs like everybody have a like passport size photograph it is one copy is exactly same of another copy so that two copies if you consider of two copies of your photographs that are congruent why they are congruent because exactly each part exactly each part of one photograph is matching the other photograph right so that is actually congruency or you can say that we have two bangles uh, generally the ladies or wear two bangles they have equal size equal look equal design so they these two bangles are congruent bangles or we can uh, we can widely know that ATM cards we all uh, all everybody use nowadays so we have two ATM cards issued by the same bank they are exactly identical with same shape same size same color same design so that two ATM cards are also congruent so that is actually congruency congruency doesn't mean that they have to be equal it it should also be of a same size they should be of equal sides and size should also be same the color should also be same each and every part of the two figures should match so that is known as congruency of triangle now you may recall that on placing one rupee coin on another minted in the same year means we have if we have one rupee coin like this and if we have another one rupee coin which is like designed in the same year then we can say that these two coins are congruent so that is actually congruency now we'll discuss two example to further explain the concept of congruency so example one is which of the following squares are congruent so we have to find which of the following squares are congruent now if we consider if we compare figure one with figure two we can clearly see that two is figure two is larger than figure one right in size so we can clearly say that figure one is not congruent to figure 2 right we can clearly see that similarly if we compare figure 1 with figure 3 we can again see, see that 1 is smaller than 3 so these are not again congruent now if you compare figure 1 with figure 4 we can clearly see that they are of same shape both are square and they have similar size so we can clearly see that figure 1 is congruent to figure 4 so we can say that 1 is congruent to 
figure 4 and this is a sign of congruency okay now let's discuss another example example 2 it's very important example you have to watch this example very carefully now which of the following triangles are congruent to ABC now suppose we have first triangle ABC now from the following triangles we have to find which of the triangles are congruent to ABC now so first step should be you have to watch the sides like if we have 4.5 centimeter we have 4 centimeter we have 5 centimeter now if we compare the first figure to second figure we can clearly see that in this figure we have 4 centimeter 5 centimeter 4.5 centimeter let's move on to the third figure now in the third figure we have 5 centimeter 4 centimeter 4.5 centimeter again it's matching now again for the third we have 4.5 centimeter 4 centimeter and 5 centimeter again we have 5 centimeter 5 centimeter 5 centimeter now if you if you watch if you compare the figure 1 and figure 5 you can clearly see that sides doesn't match so we can clearly say that one is not congruent to 5 so why because sides are not matching now let's compare the other triangles now if you compare the first triangle with four triangle compare the first triangle to four triangle we have first triangle as ABC a B C and we have four triangle we can say like this if we mark this as R N M right now AB we have 4.5, AC we have 4 and BC we have 5. Now RM we have 4.5, RN we have 5 and MN we have 4 cm. Right? Now if you compare these two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle RNM, we have common vertex between 4.5 and 4 as A. And we have common vertex between 4.5 and 4 as M. Right? Now, we have a common vertex with 4.5 and 5 as B. And we have common vertex between 5 and 4.5 as R. You can say like this. Okay. Now, we have common vertex between 4 and 5 as C can mark like this and we have common vertex between 5 and 4 as n now sides are matching so means these two triangles should be congruent but the problem here is how you should write the congruency of triangles now see we have triangle abc we write triangle abc abc is congruent to now this vertex of a triangle should exactly match we should write the, exactly the same vertex of another triangle whose we have 4.5 and 4 as common like we should write m y because in the first figure in a b c we have 4.5 and 4 a as a vertex and in the second figure we have 4.5 and 4 m as a vertex so we write triangle m is a first vertex b is common between 4.5 and 5 similarly we have 4.5 and 5 as R. For the third vertex, we have C, so which is common between 4 and 5. And in the second triangle, we have common between 4 and 5 as N. So, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle MRN. The problem is, generally the students write like this, that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle R N. M and which is totally wrong why because the thing is you have to exactly match the vertex and exactly write the same vertex 
while writing a congruency of a triangle. So you have to be very careful while doing this. So this is actually a congruency of triangle. Now let's take another example. If you compare triangle ABC so let's use another pen. Now if you compare triangle ABC with triangle we can say this is P PRQ let's say it's PRQ this triangle triangle 1 and triangle 2 1 and 2 AB we have 4.5 AC we have 4 and BC we have 5 now PR PR we have 4 cm and RQ we have 5 cm and QP we have 4.5 cm. Now how you can write the congruency of triangle? So triangle why they are congruent? Because they have similar side 4.5, 4.5, 4, 4, 5 and 5. All the sides are equal and they are of equal size. So these two triangles are congruent. But how should you write the congruency? So we can say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle now A. A is a common vertex between 4.5 and 4 means this is the vertex and the common vertex between 4 and 4.5 for another triangle is P. So we write triangle P. Similarly when you compare B it is similar as Q. Why? Because it's common between 4.5 and 5. 4.5 and 5 so we write P, Q and similarly for C which is R. Why? Because it's common between 4 and 5, 4 and 5. So we'll write triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. So this is how you write congruency. You have to be very very careful while writing the vertices of triangle in congruency. Now what further? Means now if you if you prove the congruency if you prove the congruency then if suppose if you prove the congruency now these two parts are given equal like 4.5 and 4.4 4. so you should never write they are equal you should always write they are equal by CP CT. CPCT means congruent parts of congruent triangles are equal. Why should we should write? See what happens is as we have explained right now that you have to match vertex to vertex but if we write they are equal means we can write AB equals to PQ or something like that but congruent parts means you have to exactly match the pa equal parts means they should be on a same inclination it, you can say they should be on a same kind of mirror image so that's why we always write they are equal by CPCT why because the congruent parts they are congruent parts means they are exactly the mirror image we can say of congruent triangles are equal so this is how uh, general introduction about congruency so thank you once again for watching this video on edupediaworld.com. Keep watching further videos. Have a nice day ahead.